Hi, my name is Hardy Rupan, and I am the man in the wild. And in today's episode, we are going to take a look at another five creatures that could be found in Trinidad Wilderness. But before we move on to the video, I would like to ask you to support the channel by clicking the subscribe button, leave a comment and a like. Now, five creatures that could be found in Trinidad Forest. Please consider supporting our channel by clicking the subscribe button and the bell icon. The golden orb spider is native to Trinidad and they can be found in the forest of Trinidad. Today, I will be looking for some golden orb spider also known as the banana spider in this bamboo forest. The female golden orb spider grows to a size of about four to five inches long, which is about 10 to 12 centimeters. The male golden orb spider is much smaller. They are about half the size. The golden orb spider is carnivorous and the males have to practice extra caution when approaching the female as they can be eaten. The male usually waits until the female is distracted, usually when she is feeding, and then slowly crawls onto her web to mate with her. The golden orb spider is so called because of the golden silk that it weaves for its web. Their web is very strong and can last several years. It can even snare small birds. Although the golden orb spider lifespan is approximately one year, the web usually outlasts the spider. The female golden orb spider lays a single egg sac camouflage in the leaf litter on the forest floor. The spider lays in wait for an insect to get caught in its web. Once an insect gets caught in the web, its struggle alerts the spider of its presence. The spider will then rush down to its prey, inject it with its venom, and start wrapping it in silk. The venom from the golden orb spider is not dangerous to humans. This orb spider has caught a horsefly and is wrapping it in a cocoon of silk. The spider then stores its cocoon of food. It can eat this at a later date, as we see here. The Trinidad toad, also called the crapo, is a poisonous toad found in Trinidad. This toad lays a string of eggs that takes between 7 to 14 days to hatch. After the eggs hatch, the toad tadpole stays together in a tightly woven school to protect against predators. They would travel and feed in this tightly knit school for approximately six weeks until they start to develop their features to become a toad. After about six weeks, when the toad features start to develop, their legs start to form and their tails start to shorten, they separate into the grassed areas of the pond. The toad tadpoles grow much larger than that of the frog's tadpoles. The toad tadpole grows to a length between 2 to 3 inches or 5 to 7 centimeters. Their black tadpole body becomes a grayish brown color with beautiful spots decorating their body. This tadpole, much like his brothers and sisters, has developed all of its limbs. Its tail will soon drop off. It spends its days hanging around in the shallow ends of the pond onto blades of grass and small twigs. Within the next few days, this tadpole will crawl out of the pond together with its siblings and start their life as a toad. Even though it still has its tail, 
its limbs are very functional. It can climb and make small leaps if needed. This tadpole only has to lose its tail to become a full-fledged toad. Have you ever seen a toad tadpole? What do you think about this video? Leave a comment. We would love to hear what you have to say. The red air slider turtle, or commonly called the Morocoi, is native to Trinidad. These turtles can be found in their native habitat in our rivers, ponds, and swamps. They are very popular worldwide as many people keep them as pets. And because of this, they are considered an invasive species in most countries. But in Trinidad, they are native. With over 8 million population worldwide, these turtles are very common. This turtle has decided to move from one pond to another. It is traveling at night, so the sun does not dehydrate its body. It strolls along the cool forest floor, taking a rest periodically. This red air slider turtle is a matured turtle as it is over one foot long. They usually grow to about a foot in length, which is about 30 centimeters, but it is not uncommon for them to grow larger than that. The red air slider can live for 30 or more years in the wilderness. To reproduce, after mating, the female climbs onto the bank digs a hole in the soft sand and lays her egg. She then covers the egg and relies on the sunlight to produce the heat needed for the eggs to hatch. The red air slider can lay as much as 30 eggs in one clutch. The Ameva trigularis, locally called the Zanduli or ground lizard, is native to Trinidad and commonly found in the countryside and forested areas of Trinidad. The Zanduli is a lizard that sheds its skin as it grows larger. This Zanduli is in the process of shedding its skin. The top layer of its skin sheds off, leaving a new shiny coat underneath. The Zanduli is omnivorous. It eats both fruits and insects. This Zanduli is on the hunt. He is in search of ants, termites, or even worms, anything he can find in the soil. He would fiercely attack the soil, digging up any creature that he can find to eat. The Zanduli diet ranges widely including grasshoppers and crickets as well. The Zanduli is not dangerous to humans, but they do sometimes carry salmonella poison. This can be dangerous to humans if consumed. The Zanduli is also known as the Amazon racer or forest racer, as they are very speedy runners. And I have even seen them run clear across streams because of the ability to run on water. The Zanduli can live for as much as five years and can grow to a length of 20 inches or 50 centimeters. The females lay their eggs in sandy soils. They usually lay approximately 10 eggs per clutch. The Zanduli is a common sight in the countrysides of Trinidad running across the yards is very common for household pets like dogs and cats to chase after them. The Zandali is one of the true symbols of Trinidad and Tobago.
This is a male giant water beetle or two biting beetle. It was found in a pond in South Trinidad. The giant water beetle is native to Trinidad. We can easily recognize this male giant water beetle as a female has deposited her eggs on his back. He will carry these eggs with him for approximately three weeks until they hatch. The giant water beetle has a lifespan of about one year. It is called the toe biting beetle because if you go trekking in waters where the beetle might lay and step close to one, it may grab you with its two front claws and pierce you with its sharp mouth, inserting its venom. Its venom is not deadly, but it is considered the most painful bite an insect can give you. In fact, it is so painful that some people experience temporary paralysis from the bite. The giant water beetle is capable of living in water and on land, and they are capable of flight. They are a predatory insect and also carnivorous. These beetles share their habitat with the highly venomous coral snake, so it is never wise to go bare feet into their habitat. This water beetle was approximately three inches or seven centimeters, but they can grow as large as five inches or 12 centimeters. They would ambush, hunt, and scavenge for their food, eating various fish, shrimp, insects, tadpoles, most anything they can get hold of. If you were to get stung by one of these, you may never even see the beetle, but feel the extraordinary pain that follows. And there we have it, five videos of animals that can be found in Trinidad Wilderness. If you enjoyed this video, give a like, leave a comment, and subscribe. It goes a long way in helping us to produce more videos like this. Until the next video. Please consider supporting our channel by clicking the subscribe button and the bell icon.